So I watched Godzilla Minus One last night. I have heard some reviewers call it the best Godzilla movie ever made. Uh, the best Godzilla movie in 20 years. Or, just general term, a masterpiece. I couldn't agree more. This movie's amazing. Uh, if you can find a theater to watch it in, please watch it. It is a wonderful movie. Like, it goes so well. Like, the characters, you're invested in them, which is a lot more than I can say with a lot of Godzilla movies now. Like, the characters I'm invested in, I actually remembered their names. Um, so that's good that I can remember them because I was invested enough. Uh, uh, the overall effects of the movie, they look wonderful. Godzilla looks beautiful. Uh, the building, uh, the destruction looks amazing. And, uh, in the movie, Godzilla's been scaled down. He's more more shrunken to be more, like, down to earth with us. And that was a beautiful idea. The destruction felt a lot more personal. And a lot of the themes in the movie really felt personal. So it's set right after World War II, uh, not in the 1950s. So that was pretty interesting. It was before 1954, but it was set in the 1940s, which, hey, that's pretty interesting. But I'm not going to spoil the movie for you, so I'm not going like, to review it. I'm just going to tell you some of my uh, thoughts on it and uh, see what comes from there. So Godzilla looks amazing. The destruction is beautiful. The characters are so well written. And it's weird to say it because we haven't been seeing this a lot in the Godzilla movies. Godzilla is terrifying. Like how in a lot of Godzilla movies recently, it's been like Godzilla comes on screen. I'm like, yeah, Godzilla, give me more. And when Godzilla leaves, I'm like, oh, no, no more Godzilla. That makes me sad. But this movie, I'm like, oh, Godzilla comes on screen. We're screwed. That's bad. Like, we need to get Godzilla out. Because this these characters that I've now become invested in could get hurt. And I'm like, man, Godzilla movies have not been doing that. And this set the standard, I hope. Because this feels like a setter for, like, what a realistic, grounded Godzilla movie could be. And that's amazing. Uh, there's only one thing I don't like about the movie, and it's not in the movie itself. The movie is so wonderfully made. It's what the creators of Godzilla Toho is doing. Uh, they're describing this as Godzilla's 70th anniversary. It's not. This year, 2023, is his 69th. But I also don't blame him calling it the 70th anniversary, because next year, on his 70th anniversary, 2024, uh, if God's Looks Kong doesn't get, uh, delayed anymore in April. So, in April, it's going to be God's and Kong team up, I believe. Like, I'm just talking out, I'm just talking out of my mind right now. So, it can usually not be the case. Uh, trailer expect to come out, like, two days from now, which I will talk about when it comes out, hopefully. Uh, but, is that, uh, Godzilla and Kong are fighting a giant orangutan. Now I'm really paraphrasing, summarizing, and also making up stuff possibly if that's not the case a lot. So obviously don't take my word on that. That movie, obviously go watch Godzilla X Kong. It, it looks all right. I have some thoughts about it. But if you have a chance to watch Minus One, watch it. Because this is not... That um, this is not the Godzilla that we've been seeing for such a long time now. This is not the Godzilla you root for. This is the Godzilla you hate, which is good. I do not like. I should not like Godzilla most of the time. I know some Godzilla movies where I'm supposed to like Godzilla. I'm like, yeah, it works. But this one is a uh, like I felt in the theater. Godzilla is not a good thing. Like he's bad. He's destructive. He's dangerous. How can we stop him? There's never been a point in the movie where I felt like, yeah, you know, Godzilla. Godzilla's pretty good. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad he's destroying stuff. People are attacking him. That's not okay. 
I'm like, no, take him out. He is not belong here. Like he is endangering everyone and the characters that we are loving so far. And so all I can say is if you can watch it, please. Cause this movie is wonderful. If you can find a theater to go watch it in, please watch it. Cause this is not just a monster movie. It it feels bad calling it a monster movie. Cause people are saying, oh God's all monster action. I'm like, this doesn't feel like monster action. This feels like a natural disaster. Like, I do not feel like Godzilla is just this monster place there. It feels natural. Like, everything in the movie feels realistic. The only thing that's not realistic, obviously, is Godzilla and what Godzilla can do. But the part that makes it work is how the characters react, how the environment reacts. That's just wonderful. And so, that's why I'm going to leave with this. If you can watch it, please do. Because you will not be disappointed. But, then again, I'll see you next time. Tucker, out.